Living specimens are extremely complex and difficult to understand. However, there is one creature above all the others that are said to be the most complex. This creature... I'm doing the quote things with my hands, which you probably can't see, but uh, whatever. This creature is the human. Humans are greatly developed beings that scientists have been trying to study and understand for thousands of years. Hmm. Seymour Benzer was a scientist that was trying to do the same although he had a very different way of doing so. He believed that there are certain traits that people are born with that cannot be helped. Benzer was born in October in 1921 in the city of Bensonhurst, New York. Up until the age of 13, Hmm? Benzer was just an ordinary kid. He went to school and got great grades, but on his 13th birthday, the world had changed for Benzer. His brother-in-law had bought him his first microscope, Eager and curious, Hmm? young Benzer had looked at everything that he could under this foreign piece of technology. He was most satisfied with his discoveries that had to do with flies, not knowing what great discoveries he would find with them in the future. Benzer proceeded through high school with outstanding grades and managed to graduate by the age of only 15. He then went on to college and became a physics major, and after which, a physics professor. However, after reading a book entitled, What is Life?, Hmm? Benzer decided to change course and attempt his own research in molecular biology. Professor Lark Horvitz decided to take him in as his apprentice and make the change between the two sciences. The extraordinary understanding that Benzer had for science led him through his apprenticeship rather quickly. Benzer, equal to form his own hypotheses about genetics, started his great studies on human DNA. He was not very wealthy, however, and started his studies with fly-like creatures in his basement lab. Oddly enough, the type of fly that he experimented with is not that much different from humans in the sense that they have a similar brain and similar organs. This proved to be extremely convenient to Benzer, as he did not have to test his theories on an actual human, which was significantly more expensive and dangerous. Throughout his 10-year study, Benzer figured out that genetics play a major role in a person's lifestyle. They affect a number of things ranging from our thoughts to our abilities. He even found ways to manipulate the DNA with bacteria. Benzer then found new types of internal functions including the R2 and the circadian rhythm, also known as the internal clock, and made a mapping for each as well as his findings with DNA. Along with his research, Benzer also made some impressive models with his discoveries which scientists still use today. Apart from mapping and modeling, Seymour Benzer knew many more skills. In fact, Benzer is now known as a science renaissance man. His greatest non-genetic discovery happened during World War II. Hmm. Benzer was hired into a group of scientists whose job it was to find a more efficient material to make radars out of. As it is said in war, battles were won by the side that was first to spot enemy airplanes, ships, or submarines. Realizing this, Benzer decided to try out every material that he could until, quite by accident, he realized that germanium was best suited for the job because of its unusual conductive material. Hmm. Due to finding this alone, Seymour Benzer was a great hero for the war and was able to use his new knowledge to update radios and to make the very first transistor. Great job, Mr. Benzer. You saved us during World War II. Although Seymour Benzer died suddenly of a stroke at age 86, he had a very completed and significant life for history. Throughout his life, Benzer had received many well-earned rewards for his scientific discoveries. Scientists would be much more behind on their research if it weren't for the maps and models that Benzer had left behind for a guideline. This in turn led them to find further mutations for DNA for human health and everyday benefit.